Hello, my name is Yasmin and this is my vlog where I will be identifying my three developmental leadership goals and relating them to the nine dimensions of the NHS Leadership Academy in 2013. The leadership model is about comprehending how your leadership skills impact the environment in which you and your co-workers work in and how your team operates, NHS Leadership Academy. The strength of mental health nursing as a profession depends on clinical leadership, particularly in utilising possibilities for the professional development of recent graduates and nursing students that are based in the clinical setting, um, NSETL 2015. The involvement of nurses in the creation of health policies guarantees the affordability, accessibility and the efficiency of healthcare. Uh, there are many attributes that contribute towards a good leader. Some of these consist of responsibility, approachability, creativity, honesty, positivity, empathy and flexibility. Shivraj Sharif 2015. Nurses may be skilled in their specialised area of nursing and confident in their decision making. In order to work in unexpected nursing contexts, including emergency rooms or intensive care units or um, acute mental health settings, NSXL 2014. Today I have identified these three specific leadership goals which I feel are, de are developmental and are qualities of leaders. These qualities are open communication, positivity and time management. In order to provide excellent patient care, work happiness and a healthy work environment, open communication between staff and leadership is crucial. There are some methods for encouraging candid conversation. Group patient and staff meetings is one. This would occur on the ward I last worked in on placement. A communication meeting would be held once a week. Um, I believe these group discussions provide open dialogue between nursing and patients which now enable nurses to listen to the patient's worries or respond to their inquiries and handle any problems that they may have. Um, the relationship between employees and patients is improved in result of this. Right 2021. Nurses will have the chance to share updates, issues and suggestions with management during regular staff meetings. The nursing team and wider team will discuss patient staff We'll discuss staffing, patient care policies and other issues at these meetings. One member of staff and one other member of staff should also have regular one-to-one -one sessions to foster therapeutic relationships and trust within the workplace. Prior to 2017. <clears throat> these sessions can be utilised to talk about performance, uh, professional aspirations and any issues. A Bombay et al. 2018 says that even though Staff workers may find it awkward to speak with superiors, they should. Um, staff members should be able to approach leadership at any moment with questions or concerns or any worries that can be solved, that can be resolved promptly and kept from going into larger ones if kept quiet. Um, Barbara 2016. There can also be methods in place such as a feedback channel. This would encourage employees to anonymously share, anonymously share their opinions and ideas. Van et al. 2020. I have seen this accomplished by utilising suggestion box, questionnaires or other mechanisms that allow staff to express themselves without being concerned about any negative consequences. Van Etel 2020. To make sure employees are happy with their jobs and spot any possible problems, management should constantly check in with workers. Informal talks or formal surveys can be used for this. McIntyre et al 2017. A essential quality for good leadership is positivity. A constructive mindset and someone who communicates in a way that inspires and motivates people is a great characteristic of a positive leader. Ivanov et al. The perception of pos positive leaders as reliable and approachable makes it similar, simpler for the team members to interact and work with them. Goswami et al. 2016. While on placement, I had an amazing and supportive uh, modern matron. Whenever I had a problem, I felt that I, I felt as though I could go up to her and approach her, and I felt very confident and comfortable to approach her, and, and she would always listen to my concerns, if I had any, and made me feel very at ease. Uh, positivity creates a safe and comfortable environment that encourages creative thinking and risk-taking, which is essential in good leadership in nursing, because nurses will gain the confidence to do more on the ward. We et al. says positivity creates a safe and comfortable working environment that encourages creative thinking and risk taking. When I was on placement, I was working with staff who had a good outlook 
and I noticed that they were way more involved and productive at work, which helped me feel the same way. Um, I believe this was helpful for my own development because working with a strong and positive leader really helps you realise your own potential for when you're, you are going to qualify yourself. Um, this leads to this then leads to an automatic boost of morale. Sai Juan Shi, twenty twenty one. Positive team leaders raise spirits and motivate their colleagues to work together to achieve a common objective. I would also say this kind of person promotes resilience. It helps leaders and their team members to bounce back from setbacks and challenges. Paul Jeb, twenty seventeen. Overall, a positive leader is someone who leads by example and sets the tone for the workplace culture. By promoting positivity, a leader can create a work environment that is more productive, collaborative and enjoyable for everyone involved. Theodore Rule, et al. 2021. I would also say that time management is essential for the smooth running of leadership on the ward. Elizabeth and Goldsby, et al. 2020. While on placement, I realised this when I was put in a situation to give handover to the next shift of staff that were coming onto the ward. It's challenging um, to make sure that all um, everything's done on time, all tasks completed on time and by 7pm, just to make sure that my time was managed efficiently. Uh, as a leader, you'll oversee patients, managing for patients, caring for patients and performing administrative duties. Kits and SL 2021. By prioritising work and managing your time effectively, you can make sure that you finish all your obligations on time. Moen 2013. While on the ward, um, I would be less anxious if I felt that all my responsibilities were finished before I went on handover. Um, thus, I think that having an excellent time management on the ward can also help to reduce stress. And Etel 2021. One day while I was on the ward, I found I hadn't completed all of my responsibilities by the deadline, which indicated poor time management. Um, I know now it's an important leadership skill and this skill will come in time as working as a nurse for after a while. You may increase your productivity by practicing good time management. Risha nor Prianti 2019. You may accomplish more in less time by prioritising and organising your duties which will help you be more effective and efficient in your leadership role. Balik, 2019, 2018. You must properly manage your staff in your role as a nurse leader. With proper task delegation, I can make sure that my, task is, my team is producing at a high level and meeting deadlines by delegating tasks correctly. Fan Ruler, 2020. Nancy Pawat et al. says that stress and burnout can result from poor time management. Effective time management can lower stress and keep you from feeling overwhelmed, which can make you a better leader. In conclusion, I have realised many attributes that I can take into consideration when finally graduating and becoming a fully qualified mental health nurse. I'll abide by the NMC Code of Nursing Practice as well as any other applicable rules and regulations, NMC 2018. This means maintaining confidentiality, acquired, acquiring informed permission and promptly and appropriately discussing any issues or events. I should always maintain professionalism, as this is an important attribute any nurse should have. The process of influencing points of care innovation and improvement in both organisational procedures and specific, specific care practices to attain quality and safety of care outcomes is referred to as clinical leadership. Lindell Joseph and Huber 2015. This is crucial because without leadership, a workplace cannot function pro properly. Thank you for listening.